Hello Ogmore by Sea Church and welcome to this week's Bible study video. Last night we had a brilliant time over Zoom as Jenny Hill led us through Psalm 119. Now we didn't read the whole psalm together but we did get a little flavour of the, the sweetness that's to be found in this portion of scripture and Jenny unveiled some of the treasures that we can discover for ourselves. Jenny's also prepared some Bible study notes so make sure that you use them and I hope that there'll be a aid to you as you go through this psalm and may the Lord speak to you and may he stir your heart and give you a greater hunger for his word. Now what's interesting is that the longest chapter in the Bible is all about the Bible. It's this psalm, Psalm 119. The psalmist clearly loves, loves, loves the Lord above all else. He delights in the Lord and therefore the psalmist delights in the law of the Lord or in other words the scriptures the word of God the Bible they are precious to him he delights in them they are more precious to him than all the jewels all the silver all the gold and all the world they are the God's word is sweeter than honey to his lips he loves the Lord and therefore he loves God's word he views the scriptures as a love letter, really. It's this point of connection. It's not, it's not a philosophical essay or an academic exercise. He sees it as a way in which he can hear the voice of the Lord. And the Lord himself guides his steps, gives him wisdom and helps him and comforts him, and restores him in all sorts of ways. So the Bible is not this dry old dusty book. It is living to him all because it is a way in which he can meet with God. That's why it's so precious to him. That's why it's not just the, the best book on his bookshelf, but it is so, so precious to him. But that, of course, is a challenge to us because I speak for myself. I take the Bible for granted so often, and yet it ought to be precious to us. We ought to delight in the Lord and delight in his word so much more. How are we going to have a greater desire to read, to study and to meet with God in this way on a daily basis? Well, it's quite simple, really. It's to, to read the Bible. <laughs> if you want to want to read the Bible more, then the way to do that is to read the Bible. And then as you taste and see that the Lord is good, you will want more. The spirit in you will stir your heart and say, this is good. Have more. You need more. And as you have more, you'll want even more. And so you won't be finding yourself struggling to read God's word every day. Instead, you will look forward to it. You will look forward to that special time every day, maybe multiple times a day, where you can meet with God, where you can see Jesus in his word. May that be the case. May the Lord bless this psalm to you. God bless.